Also, when doing the iPhone screens, this I hit that with a little bit of heat, and I hit the home button with a little bit of heat. This is the front camera, proximity sensor, connection for the ear speaker, and that plugs in over here. Alright, this is totally bullshit. When you hit it with heat, do everything that you should do. And you see here your proximity sensor is fucking left behind. So, what are you going to do? If you're not going to tell the customer that they have to replace it, you got to replace it. So you're going to come over here to your parts bin, get yourself a new fucking part, and suck it up. There you go. Put a new one of these motherfuckers on there and get back to it. So even though you hit the adhesives with heat, this sometimes just gets stuck in there for whatever reason. It's just shit. Thank you, Apple. I mean, I suppose we could uh, maybe resolder that, but I'm not. That that'd be just a pain in the ass for possibly heartache later and make you look stupid in front of the customer. So be sure to hit these adhesive uh, parts, these parts with adhesive, with a little bit of heat. I just use, I just use that. Got a bunch of those. When you first get them, uh, you do have to run them for maybe five minutes or so on their backs. Uh, on high heat, just flip it over, hit it like that. Just let her run because they're new and they go, they're gonna stink like shit. So, alright. Alright, now me. I like to do these repairs quick. I don't know if you guys can see me or not. I guess it'd be more important to see. It'd be better to see the uh, phone, I guess. But I like to do these quickly. And I always like to exceed the customer's expectations. Except when they have unreasonable expectations, then they can just go fuck themselves. So, this customer, she called. She said, do you do one hour? Do you do one hour service? I didn't know what the hell she was talking about. She meant, do I do it in an hour or less? I told her that yes, I do. <clears throat> iPhone 5C takes about 15 minutes. I like to give a little bit of time because as you might know or might not know, sometimes these screens will flicker when first installed and then that flicker will die down after about a half an hour. So I generally like to say an hour. But if I sense that the customer wants to get going quickly and then an hour might not be acceptable, then I do tell them a half an hour. That gives me time for the possible flicker to die down and time for any hiccups on my part, any mistakes that I might make, or any faulty screens or anything like that, because you want to always look your best to the customer. Yeah, the other thing is, uh, always disconnect the fucking battery. I see technicians doing this and they don't disconnect the battery. I mean, seriously, that is horseshit. That is horseshit. Like, it doesn't take but a second. You only have to unscrew one screw. Halfway unscrew that other one, swing it out of the way, and disconnect the battery. I mean, it's just not cool that you guys are fucking up people's phones. And if you don't know enough to disconnect the battery, you probably don't know enough to fix the fucking backlight when that's broken. So, I mean, you know, just takes a second. If you want to get involved in this, you should want to do it right just like anything, you know? When you go pee, you want to do it right. You don't want to get pee all over the toilet or all over the floor, you know? 
at your house, then you just don't want to do that. You don't want to have to clean that up. So when you pee, you always want to get it right. So you should apply that same principle, that same thought pattern or whatever you call that. You should apply that to the rest of your life. You should want to do everything that you do right, 100% right. And if not, you should practice and you should learn what to do to get it right. <clears throat> Alright, so we're back on. And as you see, it just says searching. Screen's working. Boom. So what we do to <clears throat> fix this searching thing is we just give it a hard reset. And then it's going to come back on and be fine. Now the last thing that I like to do is I like to give a tempered glass. I used to try and sell them, and I mean I still do sometimes um, try and sell them, but uh, I actually just give these away for free, and it's not because I'm a nice guy, it really isn't, but the reason is, the selfish reason is that I don't want them to break their screen again. So what I do is, uh, I get these tempered glass screen guards and I generally keep a bunch by my desk, but I don't have them there right now. Get these tempered glass screen guards and I put that on their screen because I hope to God that they never break their screen again because the thing is, if you break your screen once and I fix it for you, and you're happy with that, you're going to tell all your friends when they break their screen or their charge port or any other of the things wrong with their cell phone or tablet or, or whatever. But, if they walk out of here and they break their screen on the first drop, off the couch, under their hardwood floor, they are going to be so pissed at you and they're also going to be pissed at all repair shops. So do it. So that this business can last and so that people feel good about this business. Because you don't want them to break their screen again. I mean there's how many iPhone users? If you can fix each one of their iPhones just once, that's cool. You don't want to fix it a second time. You don't want to have to.